Mastercam 2021 introduces the new Lathe Custom Thread Toolpath to support custom thread forms. The new toolpath also takes advantage of Mastercam's next generation panel interface to simplify and streamline your programming workflow. You can select chained geometry to represent the thread cross section or select one of four parametric definitions rope, buttress, square, trapezoidal. Mastercam lets you define roughing and finishing passes with separate cutting parameters. The new custom thread module also supports Mastercam's other advanced threading and toolpath features, such as multi-start threads, tool inspection, IDOD threads, allowances for mating parts, and cross-center line turning. You can even name and save custom thread forms so you can easily retrieve and reuse them in future operations. For more information on Mastercam Milter now supports collet chucks and collets as individual component types. This greatly expands the range of machines that can be directly supported by Milturn. Collets and collet chucks are fully supported by machine simulation. They can be modeled either parametrically or you can choose a solid model of the component. This functionality is available to all Milturn users, not just machine developers. Use Mastercam's component library to create collets and collet chucks and organize them in libraries with your other chucks and chuck jaws. Then, once you load your machine in Mastercam, simply select the desired components as part of Milturn's job setup. If chucks and jaws are already mounted by default, remove them before selecting a collet chuck and collet. Mastercam 2021 expands the support for modeling chucks and chuck jaws. You now can define chucks and chuck jaws by selecting a solid model. Additionally, Mastercam 2020 introduced the ability to define a chuck with a change profile. This functionality has been extended to include chuck jaws. This functionality is available to both lathe and Milturn users. Mastercam Lathe uses the associated geometry to generate the component boundaries for chucks and jaws. Mastercam Milturn's machine simulation and collision detection functions fully support the new geometry options. For chuck jaws that are defined by chain geometry, you can position the reference position, or clamping position, anywhere along the chain. The geometry can be drawn anywhere, it does not need to be drawn in the proper position. In addition, Mastercam will automatically flip the profile as needed so that the jaws can be used on either spindle. The interface and workflow for working with chuck and jaw components have also been redesigned. These changes also apply to the new collet and collet chuck components. When you select a solid model, new function panels let you align and reposition the model. This means that the component model does not need to be drawn in a specific orientation or location. Select Align Component on the Geometry tab. The new Align Collet Chuck function panel displays. You can make the necessary changes as part of the component definition workflow. You can select a solid model from an external file or a level in your part. Additional controls let you optimize or repair the model or return to the Align function panel to make changes. These new buttons are on the Geometry tab. The preview window has been significantly enhanced. Right-click in the window to rotate the component or view it from different angles. Use the Translucency slider to see details on hidden faces of the component. The Enhanced Preview is also available for components that are defined parametrically or with chain geometry. Mastercam highlights the dimension or field that you are working on. The channel depth for chucks is previewed accurately. Additional options are available for specific components. For example, you can display the collet, its 2D boundary, or both. In earlier versions of Mastercam, the distance that the chuck jaws moved when clamping the part was defined as a clearance distance for the chuck. This was misleading and confusing to many users. In Mastercam 2021, 
these settings have been more clearly labeled as clamping distance on the parameters tab and incorporated into the general redesign of chuck and jaws components. New options let you enter the clamping distance manually or let Mastercam calculate it for you. Mastercam uses intelligent algorithms to calculate different values for jaws and collet components. For example, the range of motion for a collet is typically much smaller than for chuck jaws. The redesign carries through to the job setup where users can adjust the values as needed for each spindle. The fields are only available when the clamping distance has been set to manual. For more information on enhancements to master The following improvements have been made to the holder designer. The reselect button has been added to reposition the machine connection plane center. The select named plane button has been added to choose a named plane for the machine connection plane. To help create an accurate 3D tool definition with manufacturer provided models of varying quality and accuracy, you can now make fine adjustments to the tool's compensation point. Click the Fine Adjustment button on the compensation page to enter the function. The tool's solid models disappear and the dynamic gnomon displays at the origin. You can then choose to move the geometry or reposition the gnomon. Inserts in 3D tools can now support multiple definitions, which let you create versions of an insert with differing compensation methods, second corner definitions, cut patterns, and so on. On the Inserts page of the Tool Designer, right-click in the Insert list and choose New Cutting Definition from the pop-up menu. Mastercam then displays the Inserts page, which contains a group of options for defining an insert definition. Additionally, there is a details section that displays relevant information for each insert definition. Mastercam's 3D tools now support multiple inserts with this new functionality located on the inserts page of the tool designer panel. You define multiple inserts much as you did with single insert models. Right-click in the Insert list and choose New Insert from the pop-up menu. Mastercam then displays the Insert page where you define the new insert like you did with previous 3D tools. Each insert you define is added to the Insert list. Previously, when replacing the holder model in Tool Designer, the machine connection plane stayed populated. Because it is unlikely that the machine connection remains correct after replacing the holder, the machine connection plane now is reset. Additionally, you can now choose a named plane for the machine connection plane. Click the Select Named Plane button on the holder page to display the plane selection dialog box. After you select the plane, the reposition function launches so that you can choose the correct center position. When adjusting the tool boundary in the boundary page of Tool Designer, Mastercam now displays the location of the adjusted plane as a translucent rectangle. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam, For Mastercam 2021, Mill Turn Simulation has been added to the Mastercam Simulator interface. You can experience Mill Turn Simulation with the same interface tools as Mastercam Simulator. The new interface includes an easier to use and more intuitive machine access controller as well as other benefits. The method to launch simulation from the Sync Manager has not changed. The newly designed Move list allows you to see multiple streams of data at one time, as well as the status of every axis at each position in the toolpath sequence. Familiar tools for stock comparison, stock clipping, and measuring are all available in Mastercam Simulator. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, be sure to visit whatsnew.mastercam.com.
Bank.com. Previously, lathe solid chaining used a slice profile for chaining. This was problematic when the profile of the part was not cylindrical. In Mastercam 2021, lathe chaining now uses a spin profile which creates profile geometry by virtually spinning the geometry about the selected axis and generating a close approximation of the actual profile. This results in a more accurate profile without the need to add temporary geometry. When using the spin profile, both the upper and lower profiles are displayed initially. Once you chain the upper or lower profile, the unchained profile will no longer display in the graphics window. Lathe solid chaining now includes the dynamic option that is available in standard solid chaining. Use dynamic to move the start or end of a selected chain to any position along an edge. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam Milturn users can now transform a transform operation within certain limits. The most important limitation is that you cannot transform an existing transform operation if this would result in multiple tool planes being created. For example, if you create a mill toolpath to machine a slot in y-axis cross orientation, you can perform a rotary rotation transform to create multiple copies of the slot rotated about the z-axis. If you wish, you can now transform that transformed operation with a planar translation transform, for example, to create additional sets of slots at different Z locations. However, Mastercam will not let you perform a planar rotation transform because that would create additional multiple tool planes that cannot be supported. The Transform Operation Parameters dialog box includes the necessary logic to filter the lists of available operations or transform methods to ensure that you do not create unsupported transformation scenarios. For example, if you select a transform operation from the Source Operations list, Mastercam filters the list of transform types to display only supported methods. Similarly, if you select the transform type first, Mastercam filters the list of available source operations. Mastercam also takes the mill type and axis combination into account when filtering the operations. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam, Mastercam's pick-off cut-off toolpath has been enhanced to work better with Swiss-style lathes. The toolpath now works in two different modes. Lathe mode, which is similar to the way it has always worked. Swiss mode, which is triggered by a switch in the post. The new Swiss mode introduces the following differences. On the setup tab for the pick-off cut-off toolpath, Mastercam uses a different method to calculate the x-coordinate of the cut-off move. When you click From Stock, Mastercam adds the Tool Clearance Distance from the Machine Group Properties dialog box to the stock dimension. This ensures that you will not get a collision warning when pre-positioning the cutoff tool. For pre-positioning the cutoff tool, a new button named Equals Cutoff X has been added to the Operations tab. By selecting this button, the cutoff X coordinate value copies to the pre-position page. This ensures that the cutoff tool will be pre-positioned at the proper point to begin the cutoff operation. In addition, the minimum X value for the pre-position point has been reduced from the top of the chuck to zero. Mastercam also uses the X tangent point value from the lathe cutoff operation differently. In lathe mode, X tangent point is interpreted as an absolute value. In Swiss mode, Mastercam calculates the X tangent point value from the stock model. The X tangent point value from the cutoff parameters tab is instead added to the calculated value as an adjustment. For more information on enhancements to Mastercam 2021, be sure to visit what's new.